Well, hello there. Today, we're doing another beautiful episode of showcasing my unbreakable back. Say hello to Johnny CR. He is such a wonderful blackout player. He can win games. He can win them with no kills, with no damage, and no ends. He can win them so effortlessly. We should all desire to be like him. And that's our beautiful main guy. What are you doing coming into my house? Especially when I already pulled the button. You know this guy inside there. The guy pulled, I pulled the button. So why would you go inside? Over here we got a nice chest, a nice powder and trauma kit getting us ready. And a beautiful cordite. One of the best drops you could really find early game. I actually had a nice 115 camera on there. I never really realized. I'm going to be actually um, four times in quite a bit of this depending on what, what parts are boring. So I'm going to keep on speaking over this, but eventually I might uh, cut out some, some parts in here. So, Johnny. If you just realized, he actually landed not too long ago. As soon as I picked up the paladin, that's when Johnny landed. He had such a good landing spot. He landed in such a position, which meant he would not die early. But it also meant he wouldn't get any ammo or guns. Right here we have the guy's boyfriend. And he looks like a default skin, probably level 1 or 2, sadly, for him. He is about to be annihilated. So his loot was quite mediocre. There was very, very, very little stuff going on here. It was just early game, very, very a lot of looting. That's why I'm going to skip over all of this part. But keep this in mind. Johnny end this game with zero kills, zero damage. Zero Zero ends. Never killed a single guy who was downed by me. It's like a world record, really. He actually survived about 90% of the game. He was basically there till the end game. Right by my side, helping me humongously. Now, this gameplay is actually very old. This gameplay is probably. Th actually, it might actually like three or four months now. Uh, I was supposed to upload it earlier, but I had very little to talk about, because I always mute my mic when I play, so it comes down to me actually finding things to talk about to make the gameplay interesting, because I can't just upload this gameplay with music, because it's way too long and way too boring. Over here, you're really trying to take me out with an auger, or whatever that is. I'm going to do 100 damage to him quite easily. That's why the Paladin is very nice. So I enjoy using Paladins and a nice close range weapon. The reason I was actually playing Blackout here was I think just for 1 up center. I already have it done now, but 4 months ago it was still me trying to do duo games and quad games and true snipers, so there was a lot more to do back then. Over here I'm just taking pop shots. Now, you'll see some very nice beautiful BS over here that Blackout decides to offer. That shot somehow missed, number one. Second of all, the same guy that I was practically supposed to hit, I hit him once and hit him again, he doesn't die. What a surprise. It, it, it's a paladin, the strongest gun in the game that you can get in duos. Uh, it, it won't kill the guy though, because that's just how it is. Now let's talk about our teammate's strategy. How does he do and allow himself to get such a great, easy win? Well, as you can see, he doesn't really decide to push very much. and well, he, he needs to work on his accuracy to make sure it's as bad as possible, because if he hits that shot, then, uh, well, well he, he's going he's gonna to fail his challenge, of course. So what he does is he does such a really, really ingenious strategy, which is shooting the enemy, but not hitting them, to make it feel as if he's actually a much better player than he is. It's an intimidation strategy to show them who is the boss. Johnny is ascending his position as a true best player of Blackout to make sure everyone in the game knows that he will kill them. Although he won't. He, he's a pacifist in his right mind. He's just firing warning shots. But it's just such an ingenious strategy. So over here, me and Johnny going over to the circle, I'm going to use that trauma kit, because why not? There's too much bullshit in this mode. I'd prefer to actually survive a uh, one-shot, one-kill sniper shot from miles away. Now, we are heading over to the 
That looks like a northeast. Yes, it is the northeast. Over here, very not likely that we're going to find too many people. Yeah, they should mostly be coming from factory, or more so from uh, where those guys were actually uh, shooting each other from. So we're just kind of going to be looting up here. We're going to run around, have some fun. Now, the good thing about Johnny is he has very good skins. He even looks like he has diamond camo, and he hasn't killed anyone, so that's actually his diamond camo. Which is crazy, he's been practicing this this pacifistic strategy for, for, for almost, probably years now. And he's, he's practically mastered getting no kills and winning the game. Crazy, if you ask me. I'm going to put a sensor on this, because I have two. I'm not going to give one to Johnny, of course, because I mean, uh, I don't really trust my teammates. Uh, you know, sadly. Now over here... We have a nice concussion. This sensor definitely came in clutch because there's a guy up here which I didn't actually see before. I hip fire here because I have a laser sight and I know hip fire gives you basically stock too. So you could strafe horrendously fast. Like, imaginably fast. Which throws off the aim and you win basically every single gunfight. Now over here, Johnny actually has level 2 armor, which is fresh. Uh, but, but, but Johnny... Johnny doesn't doesn't want fresh armor. He will pick up armor that is not fresh over the armor that is fresh. It's it's the idea of showing others that he can take pain, that he is a sacrifice in the name of pacifism in the game. So as you can see there, he picks up the armor that will not protect him from the pain and suffering of this world. He is there to reach enlightenment, to reach his goal of getting a win with no kills and no damage. To be just enlightened. Over here we are right now camping. A guy flashes on the radar. I'm trying to give him give him armor repairs, but I, I don't think he wants them. It's his pacifist pacifist lifestyle. We're gonna grapple. We're gonna push. We're gonna make sure they they feel my pain. That's level three, dude, but it doesn't stand a chance. And then the, they just both die. Now J Johnny was quite close, but uh, he didn't quite make it over. He took way too long. He didn't want to see them die. Doesn't like people dying in the game. Ah, uh, poor Johnny. But it, but he is fine with stealing their loot, of course. That that you know, that is that is all. That is all in Johnny's strategy. So if you want to take some notes from the Johnny strategy here, you, you definitely can. It's a very uh, very effective way of uh, winning games in uh, the blackout game mode. Over here, these are actually had like very garbage stuff. They had four trophy systems, which is uh, pra practically useless for me. Over here, we're gonna push into the circle. We're gonna to go to the north. Now these houses, what, what were they called? Uh, they have a very distinct name, but I don't actually remember what the name was. Uh, but but it's like the 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 ranch house, the manor house of the ranchers. Everywhere else is like the barns and. Shit like that. So over here, we need to make sure there's no campers, so we're gonna put a sensor. Of course there is not. Perfect. We have 22 people remaining, actually 20, if you do the mathematics. Johnny still has not repaired his armor because he is a pacifist. I took a shot from the southwest over there, by the rocks, side of cops. Got that hit, probably did like 90 damage. That probably did like 100. Guy's hiding in a bush. They have a sensor on us. Uh, that's a second shot, which of course won't kill him as well. <sighs> Very tense moments here with the, the sniper shots. We see the guy peeking out. He takes a shot at me, does, does 150 damage. That's lovely because I, I love when, when I do no damage and everyone else does thousands and hundreds. They're pushing, they're trying to kill us, they're trying to take away our right to life. Now we know Johnny won't stand for that. Johnny, Johnny believes all creatures in Blackout should, should live and not feel the pain of damage and not be killed and not have to be sent back to the lobby. So over here, they are very stupid by making one dude push and the other guy's camping in the back because that means I could just kill the guy in the front and then the guy at the back, well, can't do anything. Sadly for them. I have no trauma kits. Johnny has a trauma kit. He's useless with it though, sadly. I'm calling out in despair, wanting help, but Johnny just... 
Johnny knows I can do it. Johnny knows that I just need to work on my self-esteem and annihilate these guys. It's time to push. It's time to make it done. 150 damage dealt. 50 remaining. Beautiful. His teammate is useless. He didn't push at all. So it's time to make a push ourselves and finish what we started. I'm going to try and take a nice pop shot. As soon as that happens, we will probably push. Yes, of course. Took a bit of full damage like some waste man. But it is over. No chance for him to survive. Johnny is, of course, back there. Not really doing much at all, sadly for us. But, you know, Johnny, Johnny is... Again, he is a pacifist. He does not need to do damage. The circle is ending uh, in a, a very, I guess you could say, centralized position, meaning that everywhere you go down there, you basically only have open ground. So snipers in this are quite nice. ARs are also not too bad. However, ARs aren't as good, mainly because there's a lot of windows in this area, and everyone likes to camp in those windows. We have a a lot of sensor darts, surprisingly, which is very nice. So we could actually use a, two of them, get a kill, maybe even earn some of them back. Now the problem with sensor darts, of course, is once you throw it, people know exactly where you are. That was very risky. But they just decided to run away for some reason. Now over here, I don't actually remember what I did. Again, this is like four months ago, but I think I just let them be. They literally went out of circle uh, for very little reason at all. Johnny is over here throwing mesh mines at the floor instead of the car. Very beautiful ideas. Definitely gonna get a kill, 100%. We have a camper in here. Looks like a, uh, a camping duo, actually. A Bonnie and Clyde of Blackout. Our teammate gets smoked. What a surprise. Should have pushed, but he decided to camp. Like a spastic. Now, so 1v1 situation, they might be reviving, of course he is, going in the corner, having nice fun, how very very nice, out of all the kills actually right now, I got every single kill except one, right? Yes I did, quite weird, I am failing the jump so I just give up and do this, now here we are, reviving Johnny. You can live to die another day. Right now we're going to be taking the loot from those guys. But, uh, oh, there is another team here. Close Whatever the... shall we do? I'm telling Johnny to group up, but he will never listen because he's just in his own bubble and his own strategy is the best strategy in the game to winning games. So that's just how it is. I'm just going to grab some ammo, making sure I'm stocked up. Because that guy is not pushing. I don't really know what he's doing. He's just sitting there. Uh, they're only starting to push now. I'm using the sniper just so I make sure I hit him. It's very useful even in close range. This guy is shooting the air, which is fine. I would prefer to push the teammate first. And then kill the guy. He was actually head glitching, I didn't even realize. He was shot in the ass. That, that wasn't Johnny that actually did damage to him, by the way. Johnny doesn't do damage. That is not his uh, strategies. It was probably the guy from the like, red barn or some, some location like that. A lot of people actually in this game had um, level 3 armor, which made us very lucky. However, I did not need it, and neither did Johnny. Well, Johnny more so, because he was mainly the body bag of the team, constantly taking damage for me, which was very, very nice. Overall, the best position we can really take is to push the red barn. I have a lot of grapples, so I would expect to push into there with grapples, or possibly actually save the grapples and just not do much anyway. Is that sensor going to go on the barn, or is it going to go in the middle? That's probably the two best places. I'm going to put it on the barn. That was actually a bad idea. If I would have done it now, I would have put it in a different position, making sure that no one actually could shoot it down. Probably put it inside. I failed. How nice. How very beautiful. Now, there's people below me, I know that, and I know they know where I am, because I think just, they have a sensor. So I don't want to actually push them at all. I only care about the guys outside. And maybe some other dudes as well. The reason I don't want to push these guys is because they're probably camping in corners. If I kill one, I'm going to have to do a 180 turn to kill the other. Again, I have 14-14 sensitivity, which isn't too bad. That's a very beautiful one-shot, one kill. However, he's going to get revived, of course. How very nice. Someone decided to smoke in. Don't know if that was Johnny or 
the guys inside, but it was a very weird smoke. Could not lie. We have people grappling up. It's the enemy team. What a surprise. And Johnny isn't going to help. Now, this is a very beautiful gameplay right there. The reason that I did survive was mainly because I aimed for the head. The aim, aiming for the head, basically gives them no armor. Which, unlike multiplayer, where it doesn't do anything, over here it does do actual things. It takes off their armor, therefore, every shot does maximum damage. Basically like an FMJ in normal MP. Now Johnny's gonna die, of course. I never really needed him whatsoever, so I'm not gonna revive him, I don't really care. He is, uh, sadly quite useless. Hit him once, probably 100 damage. Insta-killed. Very beautiful solo as well, so no no BS with him getting revived. The circle is ending in the very, practically the very middle of the map, in the middle of the open. Surrounded by, by barns and the firing range. The only cover you have down there is like a box and I think a fence. That's the only cover in the circle. Now I know there's a bunch of dudes inside and I know there's a guy below me. So what I'm going to try and do is probably take out the guy here, but I think I got scared and didn't do it anyway. Yeah, I did get too scared. So I decided to leave that, let him be, let him, f let him fight another day, and see what happens. Now I threw this down, see if I can get a hit marker, I did not. It's quite useless anyway, I got a hit marker there, down that dude. That guy will not survive 100%. They should have pushed with smokes, they did not, sadly for them. It is a 1v3, so, well, 1v1v2 situation. I have no idea where one of them is. Now, I know two of them are in a bar, and they lit me up very badly in there, so I know they're actually quite decent players. They have MP40s, which means they have very nice range, and I have very little places to go. I decided to push earlier, because I, I, I if I don't push early, they're going to take the position with two guys. I just want to peek and make sure where I know where he is, so he's on the very top, in the attic kind of area. I can repair armor, but it isn't very needed, so I'm just deciding to make my, my move. I see that they're, they're, they're disappearing, so I say it's, it's, probably, it's, it's probably time. I believe I do it when the circle moves, though. The reason being is if they push now, I get them from the top, so they can't push yet. As soon as the circle pushes me out, I'll go into the, um, by the fence, which will give me just a bit of cover, and help me actually screw them over. Now, I get shot instantly, but I back them out into that. There's actually a third guy camping down there. I only took about 140 damage, oh sorry, 40 damage. They went into the back, they should have pushed out earlier, and sadly, sadly for them, all of them died. I did my contracts as well. Nineteen kills, very nice. And if you rewind just a bit, you could see that teammate did indeed have no damage, no kills. No ends and no downs, but the key important thing is, the key takeaway is... Beautiful thought process for the original, original gameplay right here. Beautiful thought process for me four months ago. I'm gonna just stay through. I'm gonna make sure I showcase the proof that Johnny did indeed get the greatest honor ever, getting a win with no kills, no damage, no ends. Um, 
Yeah. As you can see right there, there is the proof. Do you see my teammate? Zero damage. Zero kills. Zero longest kill. Zero revives. Zero is zero cleanups. Oh my days, bro. Are you serious? It's whatever because because um I actually wanted him to die. If he didn't die, I would have killed him. Unfortunately, uh, like an off, but I needed him to die. So if he didn't die, I would have killed him in the end when there was only one to left. Uh, and it's because of this, I believe. This 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 one right here. Uh, I need to just basically win a duos game or a quads game when I'm the last player alive. Um, so basically, any time now I get into a random game. I'm just gonna kill my team uh, when we get to the final one, like, 2v1. Because, be as you can see, this is mostly what my team is. We just have, like, a dude going zero kills. With zero damage. Again, it's whatever. He wasn't really a liability. He didn't really screw me over because he actually understood how the game works. Uh, the worst part was that he, yet again, didn't really do damage. Uh, that was a um, a bit of a problem, and I think I actually beat my highest kill duo now. Yeah, it's 19. It used to be uh, 13, so I beat it by six, which is quite legendary. Now it's down to quads, uh, which it's doable, but yeah, I don't know. It's not the best sort of thing to do. 21 duo wins. So I've now surpassed duos, right? Quads. No, no, Quads was always down here. I really wish you could actually see people's highest skill games, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Right? I can change this as well. Equipment, passenger, now. Nah. How close am I to this? Uh, again, very close and very close here as well. I will probably wait for these two for double merits. Same with this. I'll do all of these in double merits. This will give me 8,000. Uh, 9,500, 11,000, this one I won't be able to do, this one I can do, 11,000, uh, 12,000. Well anyway, I apologise for the background noise, but that was my reaction. Now it's just kind of going into unnecessary details, but that was basically it. So for now, I must say farewell, I must say so long, and uh, have a nice day, and a goodbye. Farewell.